Hi everyone, welcome to the video. This video will introduce the one of the first hardware demonstration design of the Saturn machine on Iris dataset. I will briefly explain the Iris Flower machine learning program and the hardware architecture of my design to you. In addition, a video demo will follow. There is a type of a flower called iris. It comes with different shapes. A scientist discovered if you measure the width and length of the certain area of the flowers, we can categorize them in three major groups. Therefore, we can use these special patterns to train our machine learning algorithm. Because the unique feature of Stephanie machine, the training data need to be fed in to the system in binary. So we need to binarize the features and classes of the iris data. The binarized feature and classes can be called literals and y or y expected in my design. This design contains two main devices. A microcontroller that's able to send dataset and receive learning outcome from the Saturn machine. A FPGA which contains Saturn machine that's able to generate learning outcome based on the receiving data. Microcontroller and FPGA can communicate with each other through a protocol. Microcontroller will send literals to the Saturn machine and Saturn machine will return back the learning outcome. In order to make this process easier to understand, a display and a switch had attached to increase the user friendliness of the device. As you can see in the display, you can choose to train or test the Saturn machine by selecting the mode in the GUI. If you choose to train the system, the microcontroller will send 16 bits information containing the features of the iris flower and 2 bits of expected learning outcome which are literals and why expected to show in the GUI. When the Saturn machine receives the training data, it will compute learning outcome Y. The data sent out and received in by the microcontroller will display it in the screen in real time, so does the learning accuracy. As you can see, the learning accuracy is relatively low, but after a few training cycles, the learning accuracy increased gradually Let's fast forward to see the final accuracy of the Saturn machine. As we can see, the Saturn machine can achieve around 19.5% accuracy in the end. You may ask, the 90% accuracy is not high at all. Well, the FPGA we use is a low-end product that can only fit certain specs of the Saturn machine. And this design is aiming to demonstrate the technology rather than the benchmarking. Now we can start the testing of Saturn machine. After few testing cycle, the average accuracy of the Saturn machine can achieve is around 89% which is close to our expectation. So thank you for your watching. Great thanks to the fellow researchers at Newcastle University. If you want to learn more about such a machine, please visit these two GitHub pages. I look forward to see you again.